Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term cancer survivor, cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog blog post about dysphagia, uh, a, a common uh, side effect um, of radiation, radiation-induced dysphagia. It's a fancy word for difficulty swallowing. The side effect essentially happens when uh, if you undergo radiation anywhere in your uh, neck region, there are muscles, there are vocal cords, there are things in your neck that you need. Radiation can damage. It might kill the cancer, but it also can damage your vocal cords, damage your muscles. The challenge with dysphagia is that it, it takes a long time to, to play out. In my case, um, under, underwent radiation of various kinds in, in my neck region in 94, I didn't begin noticing uh, muscle weakness for a few years. Um, the, 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 I'm generalizing here, but the main problem is that we undergo therapy that's all completed before we notice many of these long-term side effects. So it's now it's the late 90s, early 2000s. I begin to realize um, my problems with my voice. I have problems swallowing. The, the kicker was actually um, one of my best friends, his father had the same problem. But it was advanced. I learned about... Um, neck problems, muscles in your neck problems, because of this friend or this friend's father. And I determined then that I did not want to let that happen to me. So what do you do? You get on the internet, you start researching. Uh, bottom line, I came across therapies that I began doing 20 years ago that I continue to undergo, uh, mainly um, for the muscles, um, it's called the, sh I think it's pronounced shaker exercise, uh, maybe shucker. But it's, um, whole, it's essentially strengthening your neck muscles. We need muscles to help us swallow. My mom's in assisted living. If you are sitting in the dining room um, with lots of people in their 90s, you might hear people choking. If you can't swallow properly, you can choke <clears throat> on a bite of a piece of bread. Bad. You don't want that. The, as I see it, the main problem with this side effect is it is uh, it's sneaky. It's dangerous. It doesn't really rear its ugly head until it's late in the process. If you have um, undergone radiation therapy anywhere near your neck, I encourage you to undergo exercises, shake our, and this is daily. It took, it took me a long time to build daily neck exercises into my routine. It's not, you can't, you can't flip a switch and turn it on. Uh, at least I couldn't. So once you start doing that, after months, years, your neck muscles will begin to re-strengthen. Also, there are... Um, basic uh, sort of, I, I have to be wary of well, eating. I have to make sure I have liquid nearby. I can't eat a big piece of steak anymore. I've got to be careful. These are all habits. These are coping mechanisms that I've developed over, over time. If you have undergone therapy to your neck, uh, radiation therapy to your neck, you should think like this too. You should start to build in um, coping mechanisms. If you have questions about the therapies, about the coping mechanisms, feel free. Scroll down the page, send me a question, comment. I will reply to you ASAP. In the meantime, hang in there. Thank you for your time and be well.